Airtable regularly makes improvements to its interfaces, but this week there were two features that really stood out. One is the ability to have conditional logic, and the other is clicking through or drilling down into our dashboards. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're an Airtable implementation partner. In the past, in standard Airtable forms, we were able to have conditional logic to determine when we should show particular fields. We could add different conditions or condition groups to make this happen. But we never really had this functionality when it came to Airtable interfaces, and now we do, both when it comes to interface forms and the record details. We can get into the record details if I'm looking at some sort of list here and I want to open up a record, I can hover over this and I can click to open up the record. This opens up this side panel and I can look at information about that record in particular. So in this case, we've got projects here and I can see this Pied Piper implementation and all this information that goes along with it. But when we're creating projects and when we're interacting with this record, we don't want to see all of these extra fields if it doesn't make sense. So for example, if we're kicking off a new project, it's not in progress, I don't need details about all the tasks that we're not working on yet. So in this case, if the status is to do, then I only see the fields that make the most sense to see. And we can do this both for individual fields, or we can do this with groups as well. And then when we click on in progress, now we're able to see all of that information. So we can see this progress group and we can see the tasks that we have. This is really easy to configure if we're editing our record detail. So again, you can click on this, open it up. And now when we're editing it, we can click on a group, let's say at the group level. And here's where we could determine, are we going to make this visible all of the time or not? So you'll see this area for rules and visibility. And this is where we can open this up and add one or multiple conditions. We could add different condition groups here. You could also do this down at an individual field level. So it's up to you if you wanna do it at fields or at a group level. As I mentioned, this also works now for interface forms. So we could click on fields that we have and we're gonna see those visibility rules as well. And this other feature is huge because we had a number of situations with clients where they said, we really need to be able to drill through our charts and see more information about it. So oftentimes we were looking at other tools like Looker that would provide more support that we needed for charts and dashboards. But now if you create a new dashboard, you can see a chart. And when we click onto that, we've got an option down here to click to see underlying tasks. That's off by default, but if you turn that on, that's gonna give you the functionality. It's gonna pop open and give us additional information here. So as I'm looking at my chart, we could say, oh, what are these to-dos that I have? I can click into it. It now pulls open that chart and it shows all of the tasks that have that to-do status. We could also toggle and look at the different tabs so I could see in progress or done. And from here, I could also click on the other chart elements and that's going to change that filtering as well. You can also go a step further and make it possible to drill into the underlying task. So if I'm looking at my to-dos or my in progress, and now I say, yeah, let's check out that architect solution task. I can open this up and see that individual underlying task. Hopefully this has you thinking of lots of ways that you can improve your own interfaces. If you have any questions on getting set up with Airtable, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.